G'day world, I'm Craig Jenkins, Managing Director of Bendigo Hydroblasting. I'm also Chief Blaster, Cleaner and Accounts Clerk as well. As it turns out, it looks like I'm head fitter and machinist today as well. I had a mate ring me yesterday asking if I could make a new firing pin for an old uh, 22 calibre Rimpi rifle that he's got. I asked him if he had the old one and he said sort of. I've got the back half in the picture. I said okay, bring it round and I'll see what I can do. So today's video ain't about hydroblasting, it's about seeing whether you can teach an old hydroblaster new tricks. <laughs> Good luck with that. So here's what old mate brought around. Uh, that's it there. Its diameter's quarter inch, so um, I'm going to see what I can do with this old uh, quarter inch high tensile bolt. Firstly, I better chuck the bolt in the vise and cut the head off. Next thing I better do is clean this old lathe off here. There's, uh, there's some free advertising for you, singer. Send me some beer, will you? So what I'll do now is I'll put that in the chuck and uh, turn that down to eighth of an inch. Uh, what I'd normally like to do is use a longer bolt, pop a centre drill in it and have a live centre at the other end because it's, yeah, it's going to be very thin or very small diameter. Um, but the live centre's gone missing in action, so we're just going to wing it. That length there of the uh, smaller diameter is about 35 mil, so we'll whip it down to that for a start. There we have it. I've machined that down to an eighth of an inch, and um, you can see that actually firing pin goes through there, so it's it's quite a nice fit. Now I've got a bit of a shoulder uh, tapered a machine on this shoulder where it seats inside this part here. I'll probably I'll pull that out and have a bit of a look, but I'll probably freehand that and touch it up with a file. Well, I've taken it out of the lathe, so I've just uh, cleaned that up a little bit with the file uh, while it was in the lathe. You pop that in there, you can see that the pin itself goes right through. We'll trim that up later after I've done the taper and worked out the correct length. We'll, um, yeah, and then we'll file some pin, uh, points on the end. Well, I don't know how good you can see this in the lathe, um, but that taper comes in over four millimetres, so I'll put a bit of permanent marker on there and I'll just run that taper out by hand and as I said before, I'll, I'll touch it up with a file and it should be good enough for the seat. Yeah, well I've matched that taper just fine. Uh, when that gun is fired, the end of the firing pin will hit the, the seat of, or the cartridge, the rim fire cartridge, and that won't contact inside the uh, breech unless you dry fire it. That's the only time that that uh, surface there will, um, yeah, will make contact.
we'll uh, pull it out now and move on to the next bit. Okay, this is um, the firing pin going in and pushing it all the way to where it seats. You can see there, well, I hope you can see, the firing pin uh, protrudes quite a long way. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to grind that back uh, until it's a neat fit and doesn't impact um, on this loading mechanism here. So just a little bit at a time, we'll do that in the grinder. Well that's the pin there, that's now the right length as you can see, slides in there no problem and doesn't impact on the uh, loading mechanism at all. Now I've got to, I've got to grind that surface in three spots, um, I'll do that last, now there's one on the bottom I've got to, that allows the case to push the firing pin backwards as there's no spring on this thing, which I found a bit funny, um, but it allows the case to push it backwards. Uh, when it's loading, but I've got to trim this to length and put a uh, a location a location and retaining slot in it. So I'll do that now. Right, I reckon that's about the right length. The other one has um, a part machined off here as well, so I'll measure that and take this one down to the same size. Well there you have it, that's the firing pin uh, machine to the right size. Now it comes to the tricky bit. As you can see from this, this old one here, uh, there's a slot cut in that. That's a position slot and a retaining slot. So there's a little pin goes through and holds that in place and stops it spinning. So um, unfortunately I haven't got a mill, so I'm going to file that in by hand. Well, we've had a change in plans with this. A um, bit hard to hold in the vise, so I'm, I'm going to use the grinder to cut that slot. Uh, my little bench grinder. Um, just means I've got to be very, very careful. That looks pretty close to spot on. Now we'll, um, we'll put a bit of a chamfer on that bottom edge with the grinder so that the um, cases can slide up without interfering with the firing pin. Then we'll, we'll just put a bit of a taper on those sides as well um, so you get good impact on the uh, rim of the cartridge.
Well, that's looking pretty good. Pop it in there and see how it looks uh, at the other end. Yeah, that's going to have a nice little impact zone there. That's perfect. Now, I think um, what we'll do is we'll um, just harden both ends of this by heating it up and quenching it in oil. And then it's just about finished. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to heat both ends of this and then quench it in the oil. We'll just heat that till it's a nice cherry red and, um, and do the same on the other end and that should give it uh, a nice hard finish. It's just about getting to the right colour there. Okay, in the oil. Wipe that off, turn it round, do the other end. Here we go, that's the right colour there. In you go. There we go, both ends of that pin are hardened. What I'll do is I'll let it cool down a bit. And um, you know what the old hydroblaster is going to do now, don't you? He's going he's gonna to stick that in his machine and make it all the one colour again. There you go, get in there little fella. See you in a minute. There's the finished product viewers it sort of looks like that top one certainly looks a lot better than that bottom one now we'll just um, pop it all back together and make sure everything's uh, as it should be well that's the complete unit there it um, all went back together and all looks as though it's functioning functioning as it should do so hopefully old mate will be happy with that well there you go folks thanks for watching just shows you that your old hydroblaster matey just isn't a pretty face. Uh, don't know what you guys will do when I go to Hollywood. Uh, feel free to drop a comment below, uh, subscribe to my channel, hit that like button, stay safe y'all.